Hey guys, what is up? I have finally found a way how you can play version 100 with the camera being set a lot higher than it is. Uh, I've been searching for weeks, a lot of guys helped me and I have finally found a solution to this. Uh, you basically have, will have to uh, open each original map from Battle for Middle Earth with uh, the world builder and change the camera head from there and uh, resave the maps folder into the game again and uh, basically you will have a new map but uh, with the camera being uh, set a lot higher now don't worry I have tried this already and uh, you have no problem playing online uh, because uh, pretty much the map name is the same remains the same so no transferring of maps is involved uh, you will be able to play the game as you did uh, before uh, with uh, this solution. Let me just show you what I mean. This is how the game looked like uh, before. Uh, this is uh, version 1.0.0 and as you can see this is the maximum you can zoom out and basically you are still very zoomed in. Uh, I have played all my games like this so far and I always wanted to change this and now you can see after I have modified the map and changed the camera maximum height you can see how much further uh, I can see this is the same map the same version uh, 100 and you can see how much higher uh, the camera is set now of course uh, you probably can see some fog around here this is why I this is because I set the camera height a little uh, higher than I should have uh, we are going to do this now with the camera being set a little less high just to avoid this uh, fog because uh, when I played this game uh, if I zoomed in a couple of clicks then the fog disappeared so basically we're going to change the uh, camera height to a lesser value so we can avoid the fog and uh, let's get started what I need you to do first is uh, download a program called Final Big Editor you can find the link on my description below and this program will help us uh, resave the changed maps into the game again once we have done so download this uh, program guys and then you will be able to see after you extract it you will be able to see those three files what we need is final big but not right now uh, what I need you to do now is go into your electronic arts folder and before we begin this is very important guys I need you to find your maps folder and uh, copy and paste this uh, file right here the maps file into a different location somewhere where you know it's going to be safe uh, just to make sure that if something goes wrong and your game won't work after you will still have a backup copy of this file because this is the file we are changing if uh, something that you guys change uh, affect the game and it doesn't allow you to play after then uh, you will still have a backup copy and be able to replace it and play the game uh, in the end so <clears throat> very important step guys please don't skip this copy and paste the maps folder somewhere else first and now let's begin <clears throat> trying to change the maps I need you to copy the file and say paste it in your desktop and uh, right now this is an, a big file so we need to extract the maps with uh, final big and uh, just open it click file open find your desktop and uh, your maps file open it and here you can see all those maps from the original game the original maps from the game excuse me and what we're going to do right here is click edit and extract all click yes and uh, choose your desktop again to extract the map files 
you will see here a new folder has been created and now right here uh, we have all those maps that we can change in uh, with the world builder so let's get to it uh, open your electronic arts folder inside the battle for middle earth the last uh, icon you will see is the world builder double click it click i accept basically world builder enables you to change some things of the map i wouldn't recommend changing anything else except the camera height for the original map files since it could it could affect your online gameplay of course only the camera height uh, doesn't affect the online gameplay i have tried this believe me uh, game works uh, normally on game Ranger as it used to be so what we're going to do right here is open a map file um, click file and open browse and let's go uh, choose a map i have already changed the camera height for Rohan, Buckland, Ran, Mordor and Harlington. So let's see if I can find another uh, map that is constantly used. Let's uh, change Forlington. So double click it and open the map file inside. So now World Builder will open Forlington map. And this is it. You can see how much uh, how zoomed in the camera is and right now you click edit and uh, edit map settings and here inside you can see minimum height and maximum height the maximum height is set to 300 now um, I have changed uh, the map for Rohan uh, the value was set to 650 and as you could see there was some fog involved so maybe we, sh we should set it a little less, uh, let's say 550. You can play with these values yourself, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, maybe you want uh, the camera uh, a little less higher and set it uh, to 500. I'm not sure you can see and check this yourself. I just want you to, show, uh, to see the basic principles of changing the camera head. So click OK now and uh, save the file of course it will save it on top of the old map and this is why i told you guys to uh, have a backup of your maps folder anyway uh, now you can see that the camera is set a lot higher and uh, you just uh, close your world builder right now and what we need to do right here is open the final big again and now we are going to drag and drop the maps folder inside the final big. Remember, all those maps are the same except uh, Forlington that we did change the camera height. And right now we are going to create a new maps file from uh, all those maps. To save it inside the Battle for Middle Earth folder and your game will have the Forlington map there with the camera set being higher. So. After you have drag and drop the maps folder, click file and set file format to big 4. This is for Battle for Middle Earth, very important step. And after you have done this, click file and save as. Now right here we are going to create a new maps folder and I need you guys to place it back inside your electronic arts folder and the Battle for Middle Earth. So let's go to Electronic Arts uh, inside the Battle for Middle Earth and now you will see the old maps file you used to have again before overwriting this file make sure you have a backup copy of your maps folder of your maps file and uh, because we're going to overwrite this and after we have done this if you guys have any problems I didn't have any of course but if you guys have any problems, I want you to have a backup of your maps file. So click maps and click save. Of course, it will going to ask you to replace it. Click yes. And uh, this is it guys. We are done now. Uh, basically what we have done is open the original map files, change the camera uh, height to 500 
to one of them and then replacing the new files inside Battle for Middle Earth. Of course, uh, we only did this for one of the maps and uh, you can do this for the rest of the maps one by one, uh, change the camera height and after you have changed all the camera height for all your maps, you can then use Final Big again and save the new maps file into your Battle for Middle Earth. Uh, unfortunately, this program doesn't allow me to open the game, so I'm going to show you a shortcut now, uh, excuse me, a print screen now of uh, Fallington map after we have changed the uh, camera head. You can see it here. And uh, yeah, this is it, guys. Uh, this is the basic principle of changing the camera head. And uh, let me just say thanks to all those guys who helped me on those forums. Uh, they did help me a lot. I didn't know what to do. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions uh, regarding this tutorial, just uh, leave a comment below and I will try to um, answer your questions. Of course, I am new with World Builder. I had never used World Builder before. Uh, and I am, I am also new to using the Final Big uh, software. Uh, I'm, I'm very new to all of this, but as you saw, uh, the idea is very simple. So you guys uh, shouldn't have any problems uh, using uh, what I saw you earlier. This is it guys. Thanks for watching and I hope everything works fine. Obviously, having the camera a lot higher improves your gameplay a lot and of course the game becomes a lot more enjoyable so yeah this is it guys thank you for watching and i hope everything works fine good luck